Binance, the biggest cryptocurrency market, has stopped XRP withdrawals through the XRP Ledger network. A reason for this? Also, people who use some wallets that use Topper from Uphold can now use Google Pay and Apple Pay to buy XRP and other cryptocurrencies. Aside from that, more than 500 businesses work with Ripple and use XRP to send money across borders. Lastly, the U.S. Federal Reserve has been told more than once that the third biggest altcoin, XRP and a public survey about digital currencies issued by central banks. What do you think? Should XRP become the world's main currency? Stay with me until the end to learn more. You should watch this new video right away if this sounds like something you'd be interested in. Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Here, we talk about the latest news about XRP and cryptocurrencies in general. We'd like to send you a warm welcome if this is your first time watching one of our movies. If you don't want to miss another movie, please click on the bell icon. We're letting you know that this station is giving away 200 XRP. To be in the running, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a message with the hashtag XRP. The winner will be announced on December 15. Th Edward Farina, who is the head of social adoption at XRP Healthcare, was one of the main people who brought attention to the withdrawal halt. Farina told XRP users that they should get their tokens off of centralized platforms so that they wouldn't have to go through the trouble of withdrawing their assets. Official information from Binance website says that the exchange does regular system repair on its wallets across different networks. The trading site said that the event can sometimes make it hard to deposit and withdraw certain cryptocurrencies. Trading services for the concern token will still be available while this is going on. In the latest withdrawal suspension seen through the XRPL network, this was the case. In particular, the screenshot of the transaction suspension that was shared in the community showed that Binance was seeing a lot of withdrawals. So, the exchange stopped the flow of money out to avoid long wait times. Binance has also said that cases of withdrawal suspension are not cause for fear, which is different from what happened in the XRP community. Another thing was that Binance let users take XRP through other blockchain networks, like the Ethereum ERC20 and the BNB Smart Chain. It is worth noting that the tag that said suspended for XRP withdrawals on Binance can no longer be seen. This means that the exchange must have finished the earlier repair task on its XRP wallets. On the other hand, Mason Versoys, a well-known person in the XRP community, used the chance to correct a long-standing misunderstanding about the relationship between XRP and Ripple. In particular, he said that Ripple and XRP are two different things. Because of this, crypto sites shouldn't talk about Ripple when they mean XRP. In this case, Binance labeled Ripple as the failed transfer network, even though the exchange meant XRPL. One important difference is that Ripple is an American payment company, while XRP is one of the things that allowed the U.S. government to classify it as a security. In a recent post on X, Uphold told people about the important news. The disclosure says that the U.S. based exchange's top service has added Google Pay as a payment choice. This means that Android users can easily buy XRP and other supported assets with Google Pay. Uphold stated that users could access the Topper platform directly or through any wallet protocols that have added the Topper service as an on-ramp. One of those pockets is Sum. Notably, Sum also made a move that was aimed directly at people who own XRP. The news from Sum revealed that Topper had also added support for Apple Pay and Google Pay. This meant that users of both Android and iOS could benefit from the new development. According to the official leader website, Uphold has already added the ability to pay with Google Pay and Apple Pay. For some people who want to use the new features, the process is easy to understand. Start up your Sum wallet and go to the Bicel XRPX app inside the Sum app. When you open the Bicel XRPX app, you will see that it works with a number of on-ramp methods. One of them is Topper. When you tap on Topper, Sum will take you to the Topper Pay page, where you can enter the amount of XRP you want to buy or the value of that amount in any fiat currency. Topper will show you the current exchange rate and give you an estimate of how much XRP you will get in return. 
tap continue to confirm the price. If you don't already have a Topper account, Uphold will need your information to make one for you in order to meet regulatory standards. You won't have to deal with this if you have an account. You can pay in a number of ways. Choose Google Pay or Apple Pay and connect your Google or Apple account. Once you confirm the exchange, the XRP will be sent straight to your SIM wallet. It's interesting. A member of the XRP group in Wisconsin said they had already used a new way to pay. The SUM users shared a picture that showed an Apple Pay transaction for buying $50 worth of XRP. They said that the new feature had helped them get around the problem with their credit card and debit card. SUM teamed up with Uphold's Topper in June to add the on-ramp system, which makes buying XRP easy. Since then, Topper has continued to help the XRP community by running campaigns like a time when you can buy XRP for free. Also, the crypto payments company Ripple just recently said that hundreds of businesses use its payment services to settle transactions across borders. Murray said this in Melbourne at the Ripple Payment Roadshow. One important thing to note is that the Australian Trade and Logistics Corporation held Ripple's Payment Roadshow event in August. During the event, Murray talked about how the top crypto company's new solution changes the way people pay for things across borders. Ripple believes in being useful. That's the technology that Ripple has always used, and we've always said that every technology needs a use case. Murray said, for us, the very clear use case is payments. Murray says that the open source public blockchain XRP ledger was designed to be used for payments. She said that more than 500 businesses, including banks, are working with Ripple right now, and that many of them use XRP for payments between countries. Today, more than 500 groups are working with us. Murray also said that a lot of them are using XRP as a bridge exchange. She also thought that more businesses would use Ripple's payment options in the future. Murray did not give out the names of Ripple's customers, but the Bank of America is one of the big banks that uses the company's payment service. Murray's comment won't come as a surprise to many because Ripple is so good at payments. Ripple is already a well-known name in the payment industry, and top banks like MFS Africa have chosen to use its option. It's now called Onifric. Ripple and Onifric revealed a new partnership at their Swell event. The goal is to make it easier for people in Africa to send and receive cryptocurrency payments in other countries, such as Australia, the UK, and the Gulf Cooperation Council. Ripple Payments is the new name for the company's on-demand liquidity option. The goal of the change is to make the answer easier for people to use while keeping its main features. To give you an idea, ODL and now Ripple Payments. XRP can be used as a bridge between two traditional currencies to make it easier for people to settle transactions across borders. After changing the name of ODL, Ripple wants to get new business clients in the US, especially ones that don't have a transmitter license. Now, let's talk about our main topic for the day, should XRP become the world's reserve currency? This is because the U.S. Federal Reserve has 